Oh, hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. So glad you made it through some of my first videos. And now we're on to September favorites. Can you believe it? I really can't. I'm a little tiny bit stressed about it because to me, it feels like it's July. So the fact that it's October is so crazy, but here we are. And I have a bunch of favorites for you. I love favorites videos. They are my favorite. <laughs> Even I hated that. Okay. I did a lot this month. I ate a lot of good food this month. I read a lot of good books this month. So let's do it. Okay, where to start? Let's start with snacks because they're right here and I really wanna eat them. So now that it's fall, officially, completely, totally fall. Um, actually, I got a memory pop up yesterday on one of my social medias. And it said that Murat and I went to an apple farm a year ago yesterday, which is really insane because I don't feel mentally ready to go to an apple farm yet, but it is happening in two weeks and I'm excited. But with fall comes apple snacks. I love apples. I love apple snacks. First snack favorite, apple cider. I freaking love apple cider. It's so good. Mm. Yeah. I rarely leave the grocery store without a thing. A thing, uh, a gallon of apple cider, because it's so good and it, it actually kicks my sweet cravings, which I have every single day of my life, all the time, constantly. Dessert, apple cider really helps and I love it. But speaking of sweet things, this is my other snack favorite. Apple chips are so good. These are from Aldi, Clancy's cinnamon apple chips. They are so good. I could eat 500 bags of these and probably still want more. They're so crispy. Have you guys ever had an apple chip that when you bite in, it's soggy or like soft? Well, I can't even think about it. But crispy apple chips, snack favorite. We'll be eating those all the way through the fall and until I can't get them anymore. So those are my two mains. What else? Let's go to things I've thrifted. Clothes, mostly. All right, so my best thrift find of the month is a pair of jeans, which I haven't shown you yet, but they're amazing. They are these men's polo, really strong tag, really cute little pocket. Um, which one is it, this pocket? Really cute little pocket, which I absolutely love. I think that's so fun. And they're very wide leg. These were men's jeans and they looked insane on me. <laughs> when I first put them on, I was like, I look like a farmer. So I decided to chop them into a culotte length and let them fray in the wash. And they look so cute and they are so comfortable, which is amazing. Like having a pair of denim that I can throw on that basically feels like pajamas is my new favorite thing. So jeans, best thrift find of the month by far. Been wearing those constantly. What else I got for you? Let me show you the shoes I've been wearing constantly too. Hold please. Okay, I'm back. So the other thing I've been wearing constantly this month, like they're my go-to, reach for them all the time, are these boots. You saw these in my recent thrift haul, but these are just like little cow, ooh, they're very dirty. These are my little cut off cowboy boots. I love them so much, they're so fun. They've been a really good transition piece from summer into fall. So I'm sure I'll be wearing those a whole bunch more throughout the fall. All right, what else? Oh, I have one beauty favorite. I don't buy a lot of makeup, but when I do, it's because I've watched 500 YouTube videos and I've been convinced to buy them. <laughs> so that's what happened with this one. This is a Physician's Formula Butter Highlight and it's this really beautiful gold color. And I love it because it's so soft. It's That's a weird word but it's so buttery. Oh, it's so nice. It's like this really beautiful pigmented gold. You can use it. I don't really use it as a highlighter because I don't have the skin tone for gold highlight, but I use it on my inner corner. Oh, I'm wearing it today. Inner corners and like as a look. I love it, it's so good. That's my beauty favorite. What else? Hobbies. I picked up a whole bunch of hobbies this month, which is very typical for me. I love being busy and I'm a big multitasker. So if I'm watching TV, I like to be doing something also. So the two things I picked up, the first one I'm sure you've been seeing if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, over at the spines, 
you will see me drawing on my iPad like a crazy person. I recently discovered doodling on my iPad and it's been so fun because I am not a talented artist. I can't draw at all, which I, I wish I could. It seems great, but I really can't. But I'm really great at copying something that I see in real life. Like I can see the lines and the curves of that and draw that on paper. My iPad has been really wonderful for that. So that's what I've been sketching. I have a bunch of things on my walls. I think they're really fun. And having some personalized wall art makes my house so much happier to me, like such a nice place for me to come into. So cozy, so personalized. So I've been really loving that. And this is the stylus I've been using from Amazon. It's called Hahaki. I don't know, I'll link it for you, but it's really great. So that's been really fun. And the other thing I picked up this month is so random, but it's weaving. Okay, wait, I don't know how to show you this. So this is my current project that I'm working on. Um, you'll be seeing this in a future video. This is for a project I have going on in my living room. I guess I should show you the right way. So this is going to be a pillow eventually. Here's one that I have finished already but I haven't put it on the pillow yet. Um, it's just really fun. This is the most relaxing thing I've ever done in my life. It's so nice, you just weave it through. It's so relaxing, it's so mindless, and I love it, it's great. So that's what I've been working on. I will link the tutorial that I've been using from Lone Fox here on YouTube. He has a really good, completely comprehensive tutorial on how to start weaving, how to make this, this loom, I think it's called. Like just out of a big canvas and nails. It's been awesome. So, and he's just really talented. So I will link that down in the down bar for you to look at. So that's what I've been up to. The TV shows I've been watching, started rewatching Gilmore Girls, which makes me feel so crazy because I just rewatched the whole thing last year. But I can't help it, in the fall it's so cute, it's so cozy, I love it so much. I feel very at home with Lorelai and Rory, and I love them. So, started rewatching Gilmore Girls. Um, Marat and I are watching Schitt's Creek, amazing show, makes me laugh hysterically. David is my spirit animal. What else have we been watching? We finished watching Frasier, but that wasn't this month, I don't think. I also have a tech favorite, these little black pods, which I'm obsessed with. So these are basically AirPods, but from a different company, not from Apple. They are amazing. I'm so happy with them. They were half the cost of AirPods, which is amazing. And it's so freeing to not have a cord. I cannot even tell you. So these are 100% a favorite. I'm obsessed. Love them so much. Favorite book? Okay, so I read a couple of things this month that I'm excited about, but this is the book that I loved the most, The Goldfinch. I can't even say this yet because I haven't finished it. This is how far I am. But the first 562 pages have just been amazing. I love Donna Tart. I would go to the ends of the earth to read her books. She's so talented. Her characters are so deep and so well-written. I couldn't say enough good things about her. Loving this book. Can't wait to see what happens. Hopefully I'll be done in the next two days. That's an arbitrary number. I don't know why too, but, <laughs> but I did love this book. I could not recommend enough. What else did I read this month? Oh, you know what? I read a great book. This one. I read a great book called Supper Club. This was with my book club and we all really enjoyed it. Laura Williams is really talented. She wrote a short story collection called A Selfie As Big As The Ritz, which I read about two years ago and really enjoyed. She's a great writer, and this book is really fun. It's about a supper club of women who go to a space together to take up space as females, and I loved that so much. And the, the real plot is actually this woman's life and how she has grown in her 20s and in her 30s, and it was just really real and very raw. And I thought that it was a really great book. So both of these, highly recommend. And that's it. That's all I have for you. 
I hope you enjoyed this favorites. I have 5 million favorites every single month, so I'll probably be back next month. In the meantime, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notify button, all of the buttons you could hit, just hit those. <laughs> and come find me on Instagram for daily stuff. And until then, I'll be back soon. Bye.